This is the first part of the frame for the motivator. This is three inch by five inch by quarter inch thick angle iron. And I'm gonna make a box. So, gloves, hearing protection. I don't go anywhere without my glasses on and they're like the good stuff. So, eyes, ears, and hands. So, yeah, it's going to get real loud. Over three minutes to count one. I got seven to go. Yahoo. Hey guys, so this is the basic frame for the motivator. I certainly did not take a bunch of video of me cutting angle iron into a square. Um, 
you know, it's basically four pieces with a 45 on each end. It makes a 90 degree box. I drilled a bunch of holes for the pillow blocks that are going to hold the axles. And I welded on the inside already, but I wanted to touch on the technique on the outside. I put a 45 degree bevel on the inside of these angles where they butted up against each other. And I terminated that 45 degree bevel at about 1 16th of an inch from the edge. Which means there was a crack here, 1 16th of an inch deep. So then I took basically an angle grinder. Let me zoom in. I guess I gotta change the orientation now. There you go. So, so if you see this line here, this is a cutoff wheel that is not much thicker than my fingernail. So basically what I did is hand job it across here and across here to make a very shallow 16th inch V notch. And I can see down in there where I met the other weld. So I'm going to weld those up and grind them off. And these four welds and the corners are going to be very, very strong. They will have some inclusions where the root of the welds butted up and gets each other. But for this, it's going to be perfectly good. Just to reiterate, this is hot rolled angle steel. Steel made at an angle. They used to call it angle iron. We all call it angle iron. It's not iron. It's angle steel. It is 5 inches by 3 inches. So this is a 5 inch. Let's see. Back out again. This is 5 inches. This is 3 inches right here. This face is 3 inches. It's 36 inches long. 21 and a half wide. This angle steel is quarter of an inch thick. It's very heavy, very, very stiff, good piece of steel for a frame that I want to hold a trailer. Now I over engineer it because I don't know what trailer is going to be used on. I know my little one is way heavier than it needs. But my goal in this was after the first one, what I realized is, is that with the small trailers, with the light tongue weight, like my little travel trailer is about 500 pounds of tongue weight, there's not enough weight there to give the trailer motivator traction if there's any, you know, up, severe upgrade or downgrade. So I'm making the motivator to be so heavy that it has its own traction. So that's just it. So the next step, I'm going to weld this all up. Maybe I'll get some video. Anyway, stay tuned, buddies. Pretty hilarious when it's got to start the camera by touching your nose.
from the Saturday morning at uh, 9 a.m. Eastern to talk about a lot of our lessons and lists and how we're going to have a lot of other success. Is going. I think it's going. Hey guys, Kim here. This is the guy. This is the frame. I got pigeons walking on a roof. Like I said, it's. 5x3 quarter inch angle iron and then I added 3 inch strips of hot rolled quarter inch by 3 inch. So this is not the side these things will be on, they'll be in underneath but I put it here for demonstration purposes. There'll be 6 axles. I use them all with these pieces lined up but they'll be cut off and there'll be 6 independent axles and 6 tires. And the three on each side will be able to, uh, you know, one side will be forward or backwards and the other side will be forward or backwards. So I start with a platform. So imagine this guy underneath, three of them, coming out a hole. But that's for next time because I have to make the axles. And I have to... So this is a this is a five inch wide, half inch thick steel slug. Mild, it's just mild steel. So I have to put the bolt pattern in there for these wheels and fit and put a center bore with a key or something. I'm gonna have to machine these this bore down to three quarter for the gears. Yahoo. But that's the next part. Hubs and gears and shafts. 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 Oh my. <laughs> 